Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you 4 things. Number 1. How to do numerical integration using Simpson's one third rule. Number 2. How to find out the value of pi. Number 3. How to do numerical integration directly on this Casio FX901 ES calculator. And number 4. How to find out value of pi directly on this calculator. So let's start. Here is our question. Evaluate 1 divided by 1 plus x square dx with upper limit 1 and lower limit 0 by Simpson's one third rule and find the approximated value of pi. Take 4 intervals. So here is our solution. Interval gap or h equals to upper limit which is 1 minus lower limit which is 0 divided by number of intervals which is 4. So it will give you 0.25. Next we have to construct this table. In row 1 we will write all x values and row 2 we will write all y or f of x values. f of x means we will take each value of x and put that value in place of the x in the expression and the value obtained will be written in y or f of x row. We will start with our lower limit 0 for x and for x equals to 0 y equals to 1 divided by 1 plus 0 square which is 1. Next we will add h to x so h is 0 0.25. So 0 plus 0.25 is 0.25 for x1. So y1 is 1 divided by 1 plus 0.25 whole square which is 0 0.9411. Next 0 0.25 plus h is 0 0.5. So for x equals to 0.5 y becomes 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.5 whole square which is 0 0.80. Similarly we will continue to construct the table. We will stop when we will reach our upper limit which is 1. In some questions the number of intervals may not be given. In that case you will start with the lower limit of x and continue up to our upper limit. And remember number of iterations here number of iterations are 5 1 2 3 4 5 will always be 1 plus number of intervals. Now the general formula for Simpson's one third rule i equals to h by 3 into y0 plus yn. y0 is the starting value of y and yn is the last value of y plus 4 into sum of odd y values. Odd y value means y1, y3, y5 etc. plus 2 into sum of even y values. Even y value means y2, y4, y6 etc. In this case y4 is taken as yn so we will only take y2. So now putting the values 0 0.25 by 3 plus y0 plus yn plus 4 into y1 plus y3 plus 2 into y2 which gives us this 0 0.25 by 3 is 0 0.0833 into adding this 9.4244 which will give you 0.7853. Hence we can say 1 divided by 1 square dx with upper limit 1 and lower limit 0 equals to 0.7853 numerically. We know from common derivative chart 1 divided by 1 plus x square dx is the derivative of tan inverse. So we can write integration of tan inverse with upper limit 1 and lower limit 0 equals to 0.7853. We can break any integration with upper limit and the function of lower limit. So tan inverse of 1 minus tan inverse of 0 equals to 0.7853 tan inverse of 0 equals to 0. So we have tan inverse of 1 equals to 0 0.7853. Tan inverse of 1 is also pi by 4 or 45 degree. Pi is 180 degree. So 180 by 4 is 45 degree. So pi by 4 equals to 0 0.7853 or pi equals to 4 into 0 0.7853 equals to 3.1412 which is our approximated value of pi and our answer. You can verify the answer on your calculator press shift and 10 for 10 inverse and 1 and press the equals to button. You will get pi by 4. So 10 inverse of 1 equals to pi by 4. And now I will tell you how to do the numerical integration directly on the calculator. For that press the integration button, press the fraction button. So 1 divided by 1 plus for x press alpha and the right parenthesis and square. So 1 divided by 1 plus x square dx, lower limit 0 
and upper limit 1 and press the equals to button. So you will get pi by 4. Press S to D button to get the numerical form equals to 0.7853. Isn't it cool? Next I will tell you how to find out the value of pi. Press shift and this this button and press equals to. So you will get pi. Press S to D button. So pi is 3.1415. I have uploaded many videos on all the 8 modes of this calculator. Mode 1 computational mode, mode 2 complex number mode, mode 3 statistical mode, mode 4 basin or number system mode, mode 5 equation solver mode, mode 6 matrix mode, mode 7 automatic table generator mode and mode 8 vector algebra mode. So friends this was my video on Simpsons 1 third rule and finding value of pi. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel. By subscribing you can stay connected with me and get regular updates from me. I have uploaded many videos on statistics, numerical methods, operation research, computer science and engineering, number system etc. If you want to watch any of my previous videos and my upcoming future videos please visit my youtube channel the link is given in the video description also embedded in this video. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.